A town of hope just north of the Canadian border with wildfires burning only a few miles away, the local truck show is a celebration of diesel-fueled horsepower. But these veteran truckers are eyeing a new model. There's no way that that thing is going to haul logs, I'll tell you, in the first place. Why is that? Because I've hauled logs most of my life, and don't tell me some electric truck's going to rattle up and down logging roads and yeah. stay together. This is the brainchild of 32-year-old Chase Barber and his young team. In the trucker TikTok world, Chase is a star. But here, he does not seem to have a lot of influence. This is a logging town, and Barber has hauled timber here since he was 18. So what causes the son, grandson, and great-grandson of loggers to try to transform the old gas-powered logging truck? Too much time in the wheel thinking like there's a better way. Logging trucks are big, brutal, and dirty. So Barber and his partners built this prototype out of a 1962 Kenworth in his backyard. Electric batteries provide 550 horsepower. A diesel generator recharges them. Depending on the job, this system could use anywhere from 25% to 100% less fuel than a traditional engine. The harder you work this thing, the more money you're going to save. And it's powerful. I've never driven a logging truck that accelerated the way this thing did. By design, none of this technology is new, but no one has ever slapped it into a truck before. The ultimate goal is to haul 140,000 pound loads of timber down these mountain roads with hardly any pollution or noise. Oh wow, it's on. It's on. That's right. I was like, oh, here comes the startup, but nope. No. Nope, we're That's just it. going. That's all you get. That's amazing. But the real challenge is selling this concept to guys who love their trucks just the way they are. You would catch me in the middle of nowhere with an electric truck. But high fuel costs seem to be making Chase's case for him. It's just the way everything's going in the world nowadays. You know, yeah, you know, the price of diesel right now is through the roof. You know, if I can get rid of that cost alone as a, as a company owner or driver, you know, then why not? Let's do it. That's the nice thing about this setup is it doesn't matter if your intentions are you care about climate change and you want a reduction in emissions or if you just want high horsepower. The hope is that loggers will buy this truck for what it does and the planet will benefit from what it does not do. I know you're a logger and you're selling to loggers, but you sound like a climate activist. Yeah, well, I you gotta care about the planet a bit, jeez. <laughs> no. Barber's next steps include putting in electric drive axles, and then he's gonna test to see how it performs fully loaded with logs. I mean, this is the thing. Bottom line is that everyone in the trucking industry understands that electric vehicles are the future, both because fuel costs are so high and because they need to cut back on emissions. This prototype, Chase hopes, could be a model for others to follow. Wow, yeah. and I love his motto. Yeah, I'm stealing right? Tesla's idea. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's funny because it. we asked him about that, and we said, you know, are you are you really stealing Tesla's ideas? He's like, no, no, no. It's Nikola Tesla had a rival. <laughs> sure. Tesla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's a historical joke. Like the truth that. of the matter is, these these are such awesome DIY yeah. guys. They were cruising around us in little electric go karts while yeah. we were driving around. I mean, they're just this little like backyard fun group, right. you know. But they've made this incredibly powerful thing. The first time they drove it, they cracked the transaxle because that electric power is so incredible. Cool. And if they can actually get it up there yeah. and then you know get up the mountain with all those logs, come down and hit the brakes hard enough, you could recharge that uh, battery without ever having to turn on the diesel. How was the ride when you're in the in the truck? Well, what's so cool about it is when you get in there, right, and it's so silent because you just don't, the engine is totally silent. You hear that 1962 chassis all around you right. kind of cranking and so yeah. forth. But, you know, it's a, it's a quiet, quiet thing. Run. But once he floors it, it throws Boom. you back yeah. in your seat. Yeah. And that's why it would be so great for a use cool. like this. All right, Jake, that's, that's awesome. Great, Jake.